Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Okay, good to see you. Okay. So we have a, a homework for today. Yes, teacher. Okay, Maria Angelica. I hope you are better now. Okay. So we have to do two questions, right? One yes, no question, and one double H question. Yes, that was the homework. So let us start with, with your examples. Okay, let us start with the yes, no questions. Um, do you learn a new language? Do you learn a new language, okay. Uh, after, yes, I learned English. You have yes. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Continue, Alison. ¿Serían solo una pregunta o todas? Sí, ahorita solo las, con las yes no questions. Ah, ok. Uh, do you have a pet? Do yes, have I a... have. No, I haven't. Do you? Vaya, dijimos que para las short answers, o no me acuerdo si no les dije porque ayer fue a crazy night, pero este... Vamos a utilizar para nuestras respuestas el mismo auxiliar de la pregunta. Entonces, si yo pregunto con do, do you, do you have a pet? Esa era orden. Do you have a pet? Entonces, en la respuesta, usted va a decir, yes, I do. The short answer. Or, no, I don't. Okay, vamos a usar siempre el mismo auxiliar. Ok. Uh, ok. Gracias. Okay, more examples. Yes, Carla. Do she draw in the books? Uh, she, she does? Yes, she does. Okay, does she draw in the book? Recuerde que el verbo va sin, sin modificar, ¿verdad? Va el verbo en su forma base, porque estamos usando ya el auxiliary. Ok, Anabel. De micrófono. Creo que no se le escuchó. No. Always room at night. Okay, repeat please. Do you always room at night? Do you always run at night? Okay. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, no, I, I do. don't. Okay. Mario. Okay. Does she turn off the light in the room every night? Okay. Yes. She does. Yes, she does. 
correct. Does she turn on the light on the room every night? Okay, excellent. Okay, Jose Ovidio. Okay, does he work on Saturday? Yes, he does, he does. No, he don't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. Karen? Okay. Does she cook chicken? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay. Audelia? Um. Creo que las hice mal, pero lo voy a decir, así me corrige. Ok. Este, do you watch, do you watch television? Do yes, you I do. Watch. Ok. Yes, I do. Uh, luego hice, ahora estoy entendiendo, what time do you watch? Uh, eight o'clock, no sé. Ok. What time do you watch con, con ch al final? Porque wash es de lavar, wash. Pero watch es de mirar. What, what, ajá, uh -huh, what. Watch, ok. What? They are correct, they are correct. Good job. Ok, thank you. Ok, who is missing with the yes no questions? The yes no questions. No. Okay, now let's continue with the double H questions. Okay, the double H questions. Your examples. Okay, Jose. Okay. Where do you live? Where do you live? Okay. Karen. Okay. Why do why do you eat pizza? Okay. Y para estas tienen las answers. Han escrito answers. Que okay. si tienen la, la answer yeah. de una sola vez, respuesta con eh, pregunta y respuesta. Question and answer. Okay. Okay, Erika. Where does she work? She works at the school. Excellent. Great. Mario? Okay. Where do you swim in the morning? I swim in the club pool. Okay. Yes. Allison? Who watch the dishes today? My brother. Okay. Who? ¿Cómo, cómo inició? Who wash the dishes today? Sería la pregunta. Okay. Who? Solo que. Eso sería en pasado. ¿Quién lavó? O, o, o quién lavará o quién yo entiendo que es como quién lavó ¿Quién? ok entonces sería en pasado who washed con ed que okay, ese ya sería otro tiempo ok sería otro tiempo eh, para, recuerden que para el simple present eh, vimos cuándo las íbamos a utilizar con rutinas o quién o quién lava los platos por ejemplo who who wash the dishes in the dinner por ejemplo si es algo digamos que hacemos rutinario ok si se fijan para eh, cuando utilizamos la la double h word who Ahí no vamos a utilizar auxiliary, ¿verdad? Sino que vamos directamente who, wash, who, eh, read, who, jump. Que vamos directamente con eh, la 
double H word y luego el verbo sin auxiliar. Ok. But yes, it, 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 it was correct, I think, Alison. Okay. Thank you. Who else have examples? What's your favorite color? Okay, what's uh, your what's your favorite color? Okay. Favorite color is green. Okay. Solo que aquí estamos utilizando verb to be. Verb to be. No, no auxiliary. Okay. But, but it's correct. Okay, more examples. Maria Angelica. Maria Belén. Okay, Pamela. Okay. Yo tengo el ejemplo. When do you travel in Canada? When do you travel to Canada? Okay, when do you travel to Canada? In my, okay. in my next vacation. Es la respuesta. Okay, okay. Solo que en este caso como sería en futuro. Porque si ya decimos next, es que va a suceder después. Entonces sería ya mm -hmm. otro tiempo verbal. Okay, so no more examples. When is your birthday? My birthday is on March. Estaría correcto. Sí, porque es algo que hacen. Oh, you, you celebrate your birthday every year. So it's a kind of uh, something. O también dijimos que aplicaba para cosas que siempre serán ciertas o que nunca van a cambiar. Entonces, en este caso, las fechas de nacimiento siempre van a ser las mismas. Yes, aplica. Good job, Albert. Ok. So, we can continue with the exercise on the platform. Okay. Okay, this was the last exercise that we did yesterday, the conversations. Then we have the questions. And here we have the exercise. Okay, we have to order the questions. We have the first example. Do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. Okay, number two, we have the answer. Okay, como nos da una hora, ¿cuál sería nuestra double H word? What? What? What time? time? What time? Okay. Y luego? Do you do you eat? Do you do eat? you eat lunch? Okay, yes. What time do you eat lunch? Okay, number uh, three. Dice no, this class starts at nine o'clock. Okay, ¿cómo nos quedaría esto? Does this class start at 8 o'clock? Okay. Does this class start at 8 o'clock? Okay, excellent. Number four. I study When English. do you study English? Okay. When do you study English? Excellent. And the last one, number five. Do, 
Do you? Do you? Do you and you friends okay. play sport on weekend? On weekends, okay. Do you and your friends play sports on weekends? Okay, excellent. Yes. And then we have a reading. Okay, that's the last exercise. We have a reading, what's your schedule? What's your schedule like? Okay, schedule, it's about times. What do you have to do in a certain time? Okay, so let's make the reading and then we're going to answer the last question of section one. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading, what's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Okay. Do you have questions about words? Okay, that's the reading. Something do you do you, do you need to an explanation or a meaning? No. Uh, teacher, they yes. say a schedule. Schedule, a schedule is the the times the times. For example, at eight a.m. I go to work. At at twelve noon I go to lunch. So that's my schedule. El horario. Okay, another word. Okay, so let's let's answer the the questions. Okay, this one. Okay, read a number of the activities. Okay, read a number of the activities. Okay, Brittany Davis. Okay, we have number one, she gets up. Number two, she takes the bus. Number three, she goes to class. Number four, she works. And number five, she studies. Okay. 
Okay, then we have Joshua Burns. Okay, he has breakfast, he starts work, he eats dinner. Who is the number one? He grabs three. Number three. He eats dinner. Ah, he has breakfast is number three. Okay, but number number one, uh, which one is number one? He grab. He gets up. He gets up. Okay, number two. He goes for a run. He goes for a run. Okay, he goes for a run. Number two. Number three. He has a breakfast. He has a breakfast. Okay. Number four. He starts at work. Okay, he starts work. And number five. And okay. Then we have the rock star. Maya Black. Number one. He goes she to work. work. She goes to work. She goes to work. Okay. Number two. She finished work. He finishes work. He finishes work. Work. Okay. Number three. Number three. She has dinner. She has a junior. She has dinner. Okay. Number four. She goes home. home. She goes home after dinner. Mm, no. The, the, the first is go home. Yes. This is number three. Number two, right? Yes. And number four, she has, she she has, has dinner. dinner. Okay. Yes. And number five. Number five, she, she goes, goes, to goes to bed. She goes to bed. She goes to bed. Goes to bed. Okay. Let's check. Okay. Ah, pues si era al revés. She goes home. She has stress. She has dinner before go to home. I have dinner, then I take a taxi to home. I don't know why. Well, in the reading, it's first dinner and then home. Yes, okay, yes, okay. So that's the last activity of section one, section one. But before we move to the next section, I think we have one extra activity to do here. Okay. This part, let me check. Okay, we can uh, remember that the simple present, we can use it to talk about routines. Okay, so I want you to tell me or to write your morning routine, for example. Okay, and for that, okay, this is an example of a weekly routine. Okay, I get up early on weekdays and Saturdays, but I sleep late on Sunday. Okay, and then you can continue with uh, 
what time do you go to work, if you do any exercise, if you visit your family, your friends. Okay, that are things that you can include in your routine. To talk about routines also, okay, you have to use sequency words. Okay, when we when we talk about routines or when we uh, talk about things uh, that are due in a certain order, okay, you have to use or you can use sequency words. The sequency words mm, nos ayudan como a, a mostrar más o a hacer un poquito más de énfasis en el en la parte o en el paso en el que estamos de como para dar una idea de um, en qué momento de nuestra rutina estamos entonces you can use okay, uh, sequence words when you begin or when you start telling uh, your routine uh, a story. Estos también se pueden utilizar cuando se habla acerca de una historia. Eh, cuando va a mencionar determinadas actividades que usted realiza. Entonces puede utilizar sequence words. Okay. Las que están arriba son para el inicio, the beginning. Eh, the, the first thing you do. Then we have some of them. In the middle, okay, in the middle, cosas que están en medio. ¿eh? And then we have interruption. In this case, if you are telling a story. And ending. Ending ya cuando va finalizando. Ya sea su rutina o la historia que usted está diciendo. O enumerando. Por ejemplo, si enumeramos. También podemos usar, utilizar las sequence words. Okay, for example, if I'm going to talk about uh, my daily routine or my morning routine, okay, I can say, to start my day, I uh, prepare to go to work. Okay, entonces aquí estoy utilizando to start. Okay, to start my day, I uh, begin preparing to my work. Okay, then I start working. Okay, for example. And next, I go out with my friends. And at last, I get home. Okay, entonces así podemos ir utilizando nuestra sequence word. Yes? Questions? Que solamente estas de interruption, estas sí no las vamos a utilizar cuando hablamos de rutinas, sino cuando estamos más con una historia, cuando estamos relatando algo que nos pasó, por ejemplo. Pero las demás sí. When you talk about routines, when you are ordering things, okay, en qué orden pasaron las cosas, and you can use the sequence words. It's clear this part. Yes, no questions. And be señales de humo, please.
Okay. I understand. So, so, teacher. So, so. Yes. Okay. Do you need more examples or? Yes, more sample, please. More examples. Yes, please. Okay. Let's write your own example. I have an example. Okay. Oui. Um, okay. To start my day, I get up every day of the week um, at five in the morning. Uh, then, uh, then I go to the bathroom and take a shower at 6 a.m. Next, I put on my work clothes. I six, I drive to work. Mm, it's tied to side life. Excellent. Great. Okay, ya ni pude seguir escribiendo, but great. That's the idea. Correct. That's the idea. Okay. Somebody else who wants to tell uh, or talk about your daily routine using some sequency words? Another volunteer? Yes? Okay. I, my day star, I get up early every day for a club. And I go take a shower. Next, um, for Tori, maybe I, I have a breakfast. And next, uh, I take the bus for the work and I work. Then at the end of the day, for example, you can say, at the end of the day, I come back home. Okay, excellent, Jose. Okay, that's the idea. Now, Audelia, you want to say your routine? Um... A mí me, me, o sea, me está costando, no entendí muy bien cómo, cómo hacerlo, cómo hacer toda mi rutina. No, no, no sé cómo empezar, no sé si me, me ayuda mejor y me explica cómo hacerlo. Ok. Muy bien, ¿qué do you do first? ¿Qué es lo que hago primero? Uh -huh. mm. I mm. you get up. Yes. <laughs> okay, first I get up at what time? I, um uh, six o'clock. At six o'clock. Okay. Como ya usamos um, una del beginning, ahora vamos a seguir con las que están in the middle. Que okay, ya no podemos usar ninguna del beginning. Ok, so we can say then. Ok, what do you do next? Um, then, um, my dinner. Uh, I have breakfast. I have, uh, I have breakfast and uh, in the morning. Okay, yes, the breakfast is in the morning. Then I have breakfast. Okay, what do you do next? Um, Next, uh, I work in 
in in in business business okay no sé qué van a decir okay y al final what do you do at the end of the day no ¿Qué hace al finalizar el día? Um, um, es que no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. ¿Qué okay, say it in Spanish and I'm going to translate it. Me... I I dream I dream uh, in uh, at my house in my I, house. Okay, I drive to my house. I drive my uh -huh. and rest. Okay. Well, I know you do a, a lot of more things, but because when we arrive home, we start to cleaning, to cooking, and all, some other things. But that's the general idea. Okay, ir tomando las sequence words con cada una de ellas. Empezamos la frase eh, de lo que de lo que estamos haciendo y siempre ir respetando. O sea, lo importante es que vayan respetando ese orden y para que se utilizan cada uno de ellos. Entonces, yo no puedo utilizar una sequence word de beginning al final, ¿verdad? Ni puedo utilizar una de ending al inicio, sino que tenemos que eh, respetar, digamos, para la parte en la que la vamos a utilizar. Ok, now it's, it's more uh, understood, yes. It's better now. Well, I hope, yes. Okay, now we can move to the section two. Okay, we have vocabulary related to house and apartment. Okay, wait. Ah. Es que no le estaba compartiendo la la, pan, la otra pantalla, right. Por eso creo que andaban perdidos. Let me see. Esas son las sequence words. Ok. Les estaba compartiendo la del manual. Pero aquí están las del beginning, the middle, and the ending. Okay, and you are going to pick some of them. Okay, when you are talking about the, the routine or the things you do. Okay. Sorry. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay, the next section, it's, uh, well, the name is, does it have a view? Okay, a view is like, um, when you live in a place and you can see other places, okay, or, um, uh, like uh, 
something beautiful, like something beautiful, okay? That's a view. And we have a house and an apartment. We have parts of the house, okay, like the bedroom, okay, the bathroom, the closet, stairs, hall, the garage, the laundry room, kitchen, the dining room, and the living room, and the yard, okay? And in an apartment, we also have a, a kitchen. In an apartment, we can also have an elevator, okay? An elevator and a lobby, okay? That's our different, we don't have, or we don't use elevators in a house. And also we, we don't have a lobby in the house you we have a living room okay let's see this part okay here we have some word and we're going to label to label the pictures with the words that we have here Okay, so you are going to tell me what is the name that corresponds. Okay, let us start with this part of the house. Window. Okay, yeah. window. Okay, next. Bedroom. Bathroom. 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 Yes, bathroom. Bathroom. Okay. This one? Bedroom. 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 Yes, this bedroom. is the bedroom. Okay. Then we have the kitchen. 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 Correct. Then we have the dining room. Dining room. The dining room. The dining room. But this is specific object. Uh, oh, sure. A chair. A chair. Sure. Correct. A chair. Chair. Then we have the laundry. The laundry room. The laundry room. Laundry room. Okay. The laundry room. Okay. Here we have the oh, only the things. Yes. The living room. And this is a table. 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 Okay. And here we have the if you stairs. want to go to the second floor, the stairs, you take the stairs. Here we have the you door. enter or you pass door. 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 Okay. And the last is garage. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. 
Ah, uh, we have one more here. Garden. Garden. The garden. garden. Okay. And also these two. I don't feel it. The roof. Roof. Okay. Roof. roof and the I don't know say chimney. 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 Okay. Excellent. Great. Okay, questions about this part? No questions. Okay, let's continue. Okay. And then we have a conversation. my new apartment. Hi. A real life set. I have a new apartment. Real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand. Okay. Volunteers to practice the conversation? I am. Okay, Margarita and Jose. Who is that? Margarita. Okay. That's what I have a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. It's very big. A big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. What is it? Oh, like view drive. Oh, nice. That is a have a view. Yes, it it has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, thank you. Yes, because of the name Lake View Drive. Okay, it's supposedly to have a view of the lake of the lake near. Okay, excellent. Okay, Annabelle and Karen. Okay, because what I have a new apartment. That's great. What is what is it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and chicken. Where is it? Oh, like, like with drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great with of honor answer apart building. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have uh, 
kitchen, kitchen. Okay, building, building. Okay, now Alison and Maria Belen. Okay, does that I have a new apartment? That's correct. What is like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it was a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and kitchen. What is it? Is it? On Lake Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it I have a bill? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. Apartment. Apartment. Okay, only that, I think. Okay, and the last two, Araceli and Alba. Yes, what? I have a new apartment. Drag case, what is it like? It's really beautiful. It is very fine, big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. What is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Do it have a need? Yes, it does. It does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, thank you. Okay, Audelia, I think you have uh, doubts about pronunciation or meaning. Thank you, Alba and Araceli. Audelia? The microphone. Yes, what? I have a new apartment. Uh, I think you have uh, questions about pronunciation. No. No. Okay. Okay, another volunteer to read the, the conversation with Audelia. Hey, Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It is. It is uh, really beautiful. It is very big. Well, um, it it has a big living room, uh, a small bedroom, uh, a bath, bathroom and kitchen. What is it? Um, uh, like like view drive. Oh, nice! Does it have a view? Yes, I does. Uh, it has a great view uh, view of. 
another apartment building. Okay, thank you. Okay, remember apartment. 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 And building. Build. Okay, that's that's all. Okay. Now move. We have simple present short answers. Okay, esto es parte de lo que habíamos estado viendo con las yes no question, right? Uh, if we use the auxiliary, okay, do for my short answer, porque esas serían las respuestas cortas, verdad? With my short answer, I'm going to use the same auxiliary. Okay, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. También decirles que in general, in English, is most used the contraction form. Eh, se utiliza siempre más la forma contractada que la forma larga. Entonces, es bien raro escuchar que digan eh, no, I do not. Okay? Sino que por lo general siempre se utiliza la forma contractada de don't. Okay? Y si utilizamos nuestro auxiliar does, does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. Or no, he does. And I think we have time to do the last exercise on the platform. Okay, this. Uh, complete the conversation, select the option that completes the two blank fields. Okay, you are going to tell me the complete question, okay? ¿Cuál sería eh, la number one? Do you like to, to live? Do, like. do you live? Do you live? Do you live? Do you live? In an apartment? Okay, the complete question. Okay, do you live in an apartment? Okay, number two. Um, Live. No, I don't. Um, I live in a house. Again, please. No, I don't. I live in a house. I live in a house, yes. No, I don't. I live in a house. <laughs> Does it have? Do it have a guard? Do it or does it? Do it. Do it. Does. It sería does. Has or does have? Does have. Does have. have. Porque recordemos que cuando ya usamos nuestro auxiliar, ya el verbo ya no necesita ser cambiado. Ok, next. Does. 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 Yes, it does. Yes, that does. Next. And the other side of the world is the Farida. El que no tiene nada. Next. Um, do does that song do you live alone? Do you live alone? Okay. No. No, I don't. 
I don't. I live with my family. I don't. I live with my family. Okay, next. That's so nice. Do you have have any brothers or sisters? or sister? Yes, correct. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes. I do. Yes, I, I do. Sister. I have sister. Yes, I do. Yes, I, I do. have four sisters. I have your sister. Four sisters. Okay. Four Next. sisters. Really? Really does. Your, your house no does your house porque okay. sería it, objeto mm -hmm. does your house have my bedroom. my bedroom have many have many bedrooms how many bedrooms okay yes it it do Yes, it does. It does. Not for. That's. It does. It has. It has. For. It has. Yes. Yes. It does. It has for. Aquí como hay un punto que lo separa, ya es eso otra oración, ¿verdad? Entonces, no hay ningún auxiliar ni nada. Entonces, aquí sí tenemos que aplicar la regla. And the last two. Do you? Uh -huh. Do you have your, or, or your own bedroom? Your own bedroom. Okay. Do you have your own bedroom? And the last one. I do. Yes, I do. I am really looking. Excellent, yes. Okay, so we're going to continue tomorrow with the next exercises. We have two more exercises, okay? So see you tomorrow. Okay, remember be on time and continue working on the platform. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 Good